subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I am Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to study about rigor mortis. We'll be discussing introduction, onset and duration, order of appearance, testing of rigor mortis, breaking of rigor mortis and medical legal importance. Other than this, there are two, there are two more important topics that is mechanism of rigor mortis and factors affecting rigor mortis. These are discussed in separate videos. I have provided the link in the description box. Also, if you want this PPT, then you can go check out my website. I've provided the link in the description box. So let's get started. The term rigor mortis is basically a Latin word which means stiffness of death. So rigor mortis is the state of muscles in a dead body when the body becomes stiff or rigid with some degree of shortening also. So in rigor mortis, what we get to see is that the body is becoming stiff or it is becoming rigid and also there is some sort of shortening or contraction in the body also. Now the primary phase is the relaxation phase of the muscles. So initially like for about an hour the body is not stiff, the muscles are relaxed alright. After this phase is passed after an hour, this is followed by stiffening or rigidity. So after one hour, the muscle starts to become stiff or rigid. It indicates molecular death of the concerned muscles. Now if you talk about the onset and duration, in tropical countries like India, roughly the rigor mortis commences or starts in about 1 to 2 hour after death. Then it takes about 9 to 12 hours to completely develop from head to the foot and then it persists for another 12 hours and after that it passes off and for that also another 12 hours are needed. So it starts in 1 to 2 hours after death, then it takes 9 to 12 hours to develop completely from head to foot, then it stays for another 12 hours and then it takes another 12 hours to pass off. In cases of like northern India, the usual duration of the rigor mortis is 18 to 36 hours in summers and 24 to 48 hours in winters. Now if we talk about the order of appearance. So the rigor mortis first appears in the heart muscles. Now this is for the involuntary. In the involuntary muscles, rigor mortis first of all, first appears in the heart muscles within an hour after death. Now if we talk about the voluntary muscles, then in that case rigor mortis usually develops sequentially and follows a descending pattern with the so-called Niston's law. So Niston's law states that rigor mortis first appears in the muscles of eyelids, then in the jaw, then in the facial muscles like it takes 4 to 5 hours for the rigor mortis to be appeared in facial muscles, then neck, then thorax, then upper limbs starting from shoulder to hand and it takes 7 to 9 hours, then abdomen, lower limb and lastly the small muscles of fingers and toes also the timings have been mentioned how much time after death the stiffening occurs in these areas of the body now the rigidity will disappear in the same order in which it has appeared so the rigidity if it has first started in eyelids then it is going to disappear also first in eyelids only in the whole body it stays for maximum duration in the muscles of lower limbs all right now let's talk about the testing of rigor mortis whether it has developed or not so for testing it it is tested by lifting the eyelids of the person depressing the jaw gently be gently bending the neck and various joints of the body so by doing all these things we can test whether or not the rigor mortis has appeared in the dead body now when rigor mortis is developing and the extremities are moved like if it is still developing which will be the case if if the death has occurred less than 8 to 12 hours now if during this period if the body or the extremities are moved the rigor fixes in the new position for example if the body if the legs were in this position and the body has been moved to this while 
the rigor mortis was still getting developed then the new position in which the body is going to get stiff or rigid is going to be this position all right now let's talk about breaking of rigor mortis if the rigidity is complete and the rigor mortis is broken by the mechanical force that is like for example if a limb in rigor mortis is flexed forcibly at any joint the limb becomes flaccid and will remain so after so if mechanical force is applied on a muscle that has already undergone full rigor mortis if mechanically forcibly any joint is pulled then what happens is the rigor mortis goes off and that muscle becomes flaccid it is no more stiff rigor mortis may be broken down partially due to mishandling also during the transit of the body from the crime scene to autopsy table which may mislead to autopsy surgeon in estimating the time since death so during transporting the body also if the body is mishandled then due to that the rigor mortis may be broken which might mislead the autopsy surgeon in estimating the time since death then the medical legal importance of rigor mortis it is a sign of death of course and it indicates the molecular death of the muscles that is in that are involved during the early phase it helps in estimating the time since death during summers like how does it indicate time since death let's now understand that during summers if rigor mortis has not set in then the death might have occurred in within the 2 hours if the rigor mortis has involved the whole body then the death might have occurred between 12 to 24 hours back if we talk about winter season then the above timings are roughly doubled <clears throat> that is in winters if rigor mortis has not set in the death might have occurred within 4 hours and if rigor mortis has developed in the whole body then the death might have occurred in 24 to 48 hours it indicate the position of the body at the time of death also like for example if the body is lying on its back with its lower limbs raised in the air it indicates the body reached full rigidity elsewhere while lying in a position where the legs were flexed so this was all about rigor mortis two more important topics that is the mechanism of rigor mortis and the factors affecting rigor mortis are discussed in my upcoming videos go have a look at them also if you want also if you found this video to be useful like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that bell icon because that's how you'll get notified for every video thank you